The moon itself is a pretty weird thing. I mean, think about it. Amongst the inner planets, Earth is very, very special. Mercury, no moon. Venus, no moon. Mars has two moons, but they're captured asteroids. They don't count. We have a big, giant moon, and it's huge. All the other planets with moons, the moons are tiny compared to the size of the planets themselves. Moon, our moon, is giant compared to the size of us. The only other system with anything like this is Pluto and Charon. So this leads immediately to a critical question. How did we get the moon? You might think, or we used to think, maybe we just captured it, like it, like Mars captured the asteroids, but man, it's really hard to capture something that big. Plus, from the Apollo missions and, and later surveys in the moon, once we, once we got moon samples back and we got to take a look at moon dirt and taste moon dirt, we found that the ratios of isotopes on the moon were very, very similar to the ratios of isotopes on the Earth. In other words, the moon tastes the same as the Earth. And so instead of the moon being captured by us, it looks like the moon came from us or the Earth and moon formed together. And the only way we can get that to work, to, to actually have this you know, physically be possible, is that in the young solar system, as the Earth was forming, when it was still a protoplanet, it got whacked at high speed by another protoplanet about the size of Mars. We call this object Thea. And man, was that messy. <laughs> High impact velocity right smack into the earth. Not just a grazing impact that that tore a chunk off the earth. Like, man, it's it's quite possible that the entire earth at this stage was obliterated. And if it was high enough speed, all the material of the earth, or, or almost all of it, got thrown out into a cloud. And for a few hundred years, this cloud made a ring, a donut, a torus of hot ionized material, of hot ionized rock and metal, something we call a synestia. Eventually, the moon coalesced out of that ring, and then the rest of the material fell back, condensed, cooled down, and reformed the Earth. So the moon isn't so much our satellite, it's our sister.